is a broken man an outlaw? Singers tell of good men forced outside the law to fight some wicked lord, but most outlaws are evil, driven by greed and malice, despising the gods and caring only for themselves. Broken men are more deserving of pity. They're fighting beside strangers beneath a banner they don't know, don't know where they are, how to get home, or even the lord they're fighting for, yet here he comes, shouting to form up, to make a line with their spears and scythes and sharpened hose, to stand their ground. And the knights come down on them, faceless men clad in steel, and the iron thunder of their charge seems to fill the world. And the man breaks. highly impractical and possibly inhuman task, since no one in practice would ever dream of undertaking it. Being content in the more admirable cases, to do things with a certain style, a certain dignity, let's call it good taste. That's, that's, the, that's the term, good taste. In the end, you feel like saving the ones who at least manage to do things with good taste, with modesty, who don't seem so proud of the shit they are, shamelessly, arrogantly proud. God, second name. Something wrong, Professor? The road is long With many winding That leads us to Involved in the rock opera? We tried, but they threw us out. They threw you out of the rock opera? Didn't like the look of us, I guess. We'll see about that. He slowly rebuilds his life. <laughs> well, he was a fun guy. John just happened to show up at my house with Vicky. Um, she was very quiet. She didn't say much of anything, a friend. 